Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky, and this is where I help you find your voice and create better music on the drum. Today I'm going to show you how to take any hi-hat based rock groove and turn it into an amazing sounding tom groove. If today's video helps you out in any way, if you get any value out of it, hit that like button. It puts a smile on my face. And if you want to put a smile on my face, hit that like button. Also, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to this channel for more just like this. Let's get into this lesson. Tom grooves are an essential groove for any drummer, especially a drummer who's playing in church or playing worship music. More and more modern worship has moved to the toms. And you can kind of play the boring just eighth note tom grooves, or you can play some more creative tom grooves. Tom grooves happen over verses, over choruses, over bridges. Uh, they happen for interest. They happen if you're playing something quiet. You might want to play a busy tom groove or, or, or a really uh, a simple tom groove. Today, we're going to work on a system for you to create some of your very own tom grooves so that you can sound like you when you're playing these type of grooves. The first thing that you're going to need is some type of rock groove with a bit of a busy snare. Now, if you don't know a rock groove that has a busy snare, I've got one for you today. But I suggest that you pick up a book like the Drummer's Cookbook or Rock and Bass Drum or any other rock-based groove book. Drummer's Cookbook has almost a thousand different variations on rock grooves with all different types of snare drum and bass drum combinations all with just eighth notes on the hi-hat. If you don't have that book, you can look right below this video and you'll see the groove that we're gonna use for today. And if you download the PDF that goes along with this, I have written out six more grooves for you to apply all of these steps to. So here we go. Let's walk through how to create a tom groove from a standard rock groove. First thing we're gonna do is play the groove that we have today. So here's what today's groove sounds like. So let's apply these tom groove steps. Step number one, super simple. You're gonna take your right hand from the hi-hat or the right cymbal if you're playing it on the right cymbal and you're gonna move it to the floor tom. So we're gonna play that exact same groove. The only thing that's changing is the right hand is moving to the floor tom and it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> Step number two, you're gonna take the left hand in any note that's not a two or a four, your backbeat, you're gonna put it up onto one of your rack toms. Now, if you only play a four piece kit, that's fine. Just use your small tom. If you have a five piece kit, you can use your medium tom or your small tom. This is your choice. This is you creating your tom grooves. I'm just gonna help you to experiment a little bit to find what you like. So I'm gonna play it on my medium rack tom and it's gonna sound like this. All right, it's already sounding pretty sweet. Now, I'm gonna suggest that you do something with your left foot. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna play eighth notes on my left foot. So I'm just playing one and two and essentially my right hand and my right foot will be locked together. But some other variations that you can try are quarter notes on the hi-hat or upbeats on the hi-hat. So you're just playing one and two and. Let me at this point play those three hi-hat variations for you. So first here is quarter notes on the hi-hat. Upbeats on the hi-hat. Eighth notes on the hi-hat. Now, if you want to get a little bit fancy, you can do the splash chick sound. And that sound like this. Or the other way. I'm gonna stick with eight notes for the rest of this video. All right, let's go to step number three. So step one, right hand to the floor tom. Step two, left hand up to the rack toms, either one. The next step's gonna work if you have two rack toms. If not, you can just make these applications to the small tom and the floor tom, or even try the snare drum added in with these toms. So in this step, you're gonna take all the notes that are not snare drum notes, and you're gonna break them up between the high tom and the middle tom 
just back and forth. So whatever note comes, you'll go to this tom, then the next note, you'll go to that tom, the next note, you'll go to this tom, the next note, you'll go to that tom, and that'll sound like this. Or you can do the opposite. You go low, high, low. That'll sound like this. So in this next step, I'm going to keep the 16th notes grouped together and then just move the single note to the other tom, high and low. And that sounds like this. Or the opposite. This time I'm going to play high, medium, low, broken up between those three, because I have three notes that are not snare drum notes, that are tom notes, and I'm going to run them down the toms. That'll sound like this. The next thing you can try is to move your right hand from the floor tom to your middle tom, just in an alternating pattern. So one and two and three and four and. Let me show you what that would sound like. Or the opposite, start on the rack tom and go to the floor tom. And do those types of things. The next one is you can play one and two and on the floor tom and then three and four and on the rack tom. And you can go the opposite. All right, one final thing that you can try is to put the ride cymbal on the quarter notes and the floor tom on the eighth notes. So you're gonna play one and two and three and four and. Now if you can put the hi-hat on the eighth notes, this begins to sound kind of cool. Or the opposite. The key to this whole thing is experimentation. So what I'm giving you is a series of steps that you can run any rock groove through so that you can have an aha moment. You might start playing one of these grooves and all of a sudden you apply one of these steps to it and you go, whoa, I love the way this groove sounds. <laughs> and then you can memorize that and you can begin to use that as your tom groove. I guess one final thing that I thought about is instead of going to the snare all the time, you could just accent the small tom. So you could play. Or down to the floor tom. Something like that. Experiment, experiment, experiment. Hey, if this video helped you out, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And check right next to me, here and here, for two more videos that I created. I don't even know what they are. I'm letting YouTube choose for you. So click one of these. If you like this video, you'll find some more content just like this right here. I'll see you in the next one.